Tunaendelea kuwakaribisha katika ibada ya siku ya leo. Karibuni sana wale ambao watachukua viti vyetu. Karibuni katika ndani ya hema hizi ili tuweze kuchukua viti vyetu tunapoendelea na matayarisho ya ibada ya siku ya leo. Karibuni nyote.
house ya shirika la Sons of Divine Providence kwa Kiswahili wana wa fadhili za Mungu
So kwa nguni sana mjisikia katika mjisikia nyumbani na pia mjisikia katika commission house ya sounds of the project. Very good sana.
keti kidogo mapadri mliofika hapa watawa wa kiume na wa kike wa seminaristi wetu wa Kristu wapenzi taifa la Mungu mliotoka mbali na karibu tumsifu Yesu Kristu basi nachukua hii fursa ni mwalike padri Anton Njenga mkuu wa shirika letu la wana wafadhili za Mungu hapa Kenya Don Orione Fathers ili aweze kutukaribisha kirasmi na pia aweze ku, kumwalika Sao Susan Padre Marcelo Voski ambaye ni mjumbe mkuu wa ujumbe wa Maria Mama wa kanisa aweze kutuongoza kwenye ibada hii takatifu ya misa Padre Mungu ni mwema bila wakati na kila wakati basi na wakaribisheni nyinyi nyote siku ya leo tunaposherekea ndugu zetu watano ambao wanaweka nadhiri za daima waweze kumtumikia Mungu katika maisha yao yote katika shirika la wana fadhili za Mungu na pia kwa njia ya kipekee akaribisha wazazi wa kaka zetu I also would like to take this opportunity to thank Father Marcelo, our delegate superior, and welcome him to preside over this celebration as we celebrate the Nativity of Our Lady. Welcome, Father. Tosimama. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, welcome. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate with dignity this celebration. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to meet Jesus. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Thank you. 
masomo yetu ya leo. Somo la kwanza linatoka katika kitabu cha Nabii Hosea sura ya pili kuanzia mstari wa 16 mpaka 17 kisha 21 mpaka 22. Wimbo wa katikati ni kutoka Zaburi 13 sita aba, sita ba. Na injili takatifu kama ilivyoandikwa na mtakatifu Madhayo sura ya kwanza kuanzia msari wa 18 mpaka 23 tusikilize masomo kwa njia ipasavyo A reading from the prophet Hosea The Lord says this I am going to lead her out into the wilderness and speak to her heart There she will report to me as she did when she was young as she did when she came out of the land of Egypt I will betroth you to myself forever betroth you with integrity and justice with tenderness and love I will betroth you to myself with faithfulness and you will come to know the lord the word of the lord wimbo wa katikati maneno ya kuitikizana nitafurahi sana katika Bwana 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 Mimi mezi tumaini ya fadhili zako moyo wangu na ufurahie wokovu wako nitafurahi sana katika Bwana nitafurahi sana katika Bwana Nam limwithie Bwana kwa kuwa amenitendea kwa ukaribu Nitafurahi sana katika Bwana Nitafurahi sana katika Hallelujah. 
not the Son of Justice, Christ our God. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, says he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son and you have named him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Na kwa sasa, na maliko pade Anthony Njenga, adongea pambele, na kwa kabili makadidati, kwa padre Marcelo. Wataitua mmoja moda na kuitika. Kisha padre Marcelo, ataweza kuwa na maodiano nao. May the one who requests perpetual profession answer after I call him by name. Brother Antero Mejos Junior Cisneros. You have called me, here I am. Brother John Carr, Jean Volante. You have told me, here I am. <clears throat> Brother Vitri, Luberne, Moon. You have called me, here I am. Brother George Fernandez, you have called me, here I am. Brother Pierre Togaba Kotamu, you have called me, here I am.
the Reverend Father Marcelo, our brothers Antero, John Cam, Wycliffe, George, and Pierre here present, after their novitiate have experienced religious life in our institute for almost five years for some, for others more than five years. They are asking today to be admitted to perpetual profession. My dear brothers, what do you ask of God and his holy church? With the help of God, I, Anteros Esneros Mijos Jr. I, John Carl Jean Vinos Volante. I, Wycliffe Lugambi Mumia. I, George Fernandez. I, Pierre Togaba Kutamba. I have come to know the life of religious dedication in our institute. Father, I now ask to be allowed to make perpetual profession in the religious family of the sons of the divine providence. May the glory of God and the service of the church so as to bring my baptismal consecration to fulfillment. Trusting in the help of God, in the name of the church, we admit these brothers to perpetual religious profession. Thanks be to God. Good morning to everyone. Next time I promise we'll be in Swahili, okay? Next time. I don't know when, but next time. My brothers and sisters in the Lord, this happy occasion of meeting together this morning gives us the joy to celebrate this Eucharist as a part of the Thanksgiving for the 25th anniversary of the presence of the Sons of Divine Providence in Kenya. In a very special way, I did all my brothers in the priesthood and all my brothers in the religious life. Being present allows me to greet you and encourage you to continue to consecrate your life to God through our specific charism, to restoring everything in Christ. This is particular to our congregation. I greet you all, brothers, in the Lord Jesus, with the certainty that the consecrated life is at the very heart of the church, as a decisive element for her mission, since it indicates the intimate nature of our Christian vocation and the inspiration of the whole church. I am glad in an, a glad and joyful celebration such as this, we have the opportunity to live and witness the perpetual consecration of these young brothers. Their desire for consecration reminds us all that life is only worth living when we love God and we have the full certainty that consecrated to him, we can serve others. Listening to the text of the word of God, we can share some elements that invite us to personal reflection and encourage us to be faithful. We have listened to the prophet Hosea. He is called prophet of love, who narrates his experience of wanting to win back to her the heart, the heart of his wife. He sees her to renew his love and fidelity. The prophet says, I am going to lead her out in the wilderness and speak to her heart. God speaks to us in our heart. In the same way that God speaks to people of Israel as to his soul's bride, who has been unfaithful to the promise of love, and he leads her into the desert to renew her 
covenant and love and fidelity. The desert is present to us as the most appropriate place for an encounter with God. And where we can find God's love and where we can renew our covenant with him. Israel has committed adultery, has broken the covenant. God should judge and repudiate her. But precisely, this is revealed that God is God and not man. God's fervent love for his people is at the same time a forgiving love. Love is so great that he set God against himself, his love against his justice. The Christians already see in this the veil outline of the mystery of the cross. God loves man so much, becoming man himself. He accompanies him even in a death and in this way reconciles justice and love. God loves us. He chose Israel and loves her, although to save all mankind in this very way. Dear brothers, in these words, the plan of each one of us is outlined. God's vocation given to us is a vocation of love, as an invitation to a personal encounter with him. His love, with his love, and with his person in Jesus Christ. Precisely from this special grace of intimacy arises in the consecrated life the possibility and the requirement of total self-giving. In the profession of the evangelical councils, before being a renunciation, there are specific acceptance of the love of God and the mystery of Christ lives in the church. By embracing chastity, God makes vir Christ's virginal love for his own and confesses him to the world as the only begotten son, one with the father. By imitating his poverty, he confesses him as the son who receives all from the father and returns all in love and freedom. By the mystery of filial obedience, he confesses him infinitely loved and loving as the one who delights only in the will of the Father, to whom he is perfectly united and whom he depends everything. We hear how Hosea intends to establish a covenant lo of love forever, which leads us to think about the call to live our religious vocation, loving God with all our strength. However, it refers to the need to live fully united and exclusively surrendered to Jesus forever. Dear brothers, Antero, John, Wycliffe, George, Peter, in you today, this unity with Jesus Christ is realized. This will be manifested in the right that in a few moments we are about to fulfill. The sincerity of your response to love Christ will leave you to live like a poor person and to embrace, embrace the cause of the poor, serving the poor will be an act of an evangelization and at the same time a sign of evangelical authenticity and a stimulus on ongoing conversion for you. Being poor, being poor will encourage you to assume a new and resolute evangelical witness of unnegation and sobriety a fraternal lifestyle inspired by a criteria of humility, simplicity, and fraternity, so that you may be an example also for those who remain indifferent to the needs of others. Each one of you must be an example of a lived chastity that proves balances, balances of self-control 
an initiative, psychological and affective maturity. Let yourself be led into the desert by God, like Jesus, to discover the will of God being obedient. But obedient until death. Obedient is not negotiation. It's not a business gift. Obedient is to trust in God for everything that God can ask us. Fidelity to the church in thoughts, words, and deeds. This is our fourth vow. That is, by the experience of prayer and personal encounter with God, through the sacramental life of confession, a spiritual direction, within the balanced desert journey of religious life. The gospel begins with the words. This is how the word of Jesus Christ came about. Matthew then detailed the story of Mary betrothal to Joseph and the appearance of the angel announcing Mary that she would bear a child. However, Mary's child would be not conceived with Joseph, her spouse. Mary must have a loving and trusting relationship with God long before the angel appeared to her and announcing this good news because she accepted the angel's announcement without hesitation. Brothers, Mary is a model for us. Mary knew God and she trusted God. She was willing to place herself in a very awkward position when she responded to God's call to bear God's son. She didn't know how this good came about. She didn't know how her future could be. But she didn't hesitate in her response to the angel. She not say to the angel, I need to think about it. Come later. She simply say, yes, let it be done to me. Each one of us called to bear Jesus Christ to our world every single day. Could we have such faith if an angel appeared to us and made such outstanding announcement to us? Do we believe that God can and will do amazing deeds through us? Do we trust that God walk with us each and every day in good times and in difficult times? Mary was chosen by God as you are chosen by God. However, we also have been chosen by God. Ask yourself, do I truly believe this? Take some time today to be quiet, to sit down some place and repeat every time this, I am God's chosen one. I am God's chosen one. And repeat that several times and let this reality and fiat soak into your being. May our Lady, Mother of Divine Providence, all will we be for you and the model of fidelity who knows how to listen to the Word of God and meditate on it in her heart. May the patron saints of our religious family intercede for you so under their guidance you may continue to collaborate in the tax of the new evangelization. And following the example of Don Orione, you may seek to have in our lives the one God who, as Orionites, has marked with a spiritual zeal our consecrated life and fulfilled the will of God in a deep love for the church. Amen. Kwa sasa tukae kimya ili tuweze kutafakari hayo maneno tuliyopewa katika hotuba ya siku ya leo. Kitakachofuata sasa ni makandidati hawa wa nadhiri za daima wataweza kusimama na kujongea hapa mbele ya altari na kuhojiwa kwa nia ya kwa nia ya kuonyesha kwamba kila mmoja wao ako tayari kuzipokea nadhiri za daima na pia 
kuonyesha utayari wa kuishi nadhiri hizo ambazo ni umaskini, usafi wa kiadili, utii na uaminifu wa baba, kwa baba mtakatifu. Dear brothers, in baptism you have already died to sin and have been consecrated to God's service. Moreover, you have tried to leave the religious consecration of our little work. Are you now resolved to make your gift perfect and unite yourself more closely to God by the bond of perpetual profession? Are you resolved with the help of God to undertake the life of perfect chastity, obedience, and poverty chosen for themselves by Christ, our, our Lord, Lord, and his virgin mother, mother to preserve persevere in it forever? I am so that the Lord may be my only master and my greatest good. The example and heritage left to us by Don Orione taught us to a generous witness of love for the church and for her visible head, the Bishop of Rome. Do you therefore wish to make a humble vow of a special fidelity to the Pope? Yes, I do, because I know that the Pope is the vicar of Christ, the teacher and the master of all the faithful. To live and work together is for us a fundamental requirement. Do you wish to live definitely in fellowship with the brothers and in particular with all the members of the little world of divine providence? Yes, I do, so that I can help to reveal to the world that God's plan is to reunite all people in unity and love. The people, the little ones, and the most needy are the first and principal beneficiaries of our mission. Do you wish to use all your strength for them, and especially for the poorest? Yes, I do, because the image of God shines in the smallest of people. Blessed be God for the grace and He has shown on you. Amen. Amen. Wakaniati watajilaza kifugifugi kwenye mkeka Na baada ya ombi ya mano kada kaungoza Kutaweza kuongozo wa kualitania ya watakatifu na kuwane Beloved brethren, let us pray to God the Almighty for these his servants whom he has called to follow Christ in evangelical perfection. May God, in his love, bless them with grace and strengthen them in his holy purpose.
charge of your servants for consecration to your service. By the grace of the Holy Spirit, purify them from all sin and set them on fire with your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kwa sasa, Padri Maselo akiandamana ama Padri Wawili ambao wanasimama kama mashahidi watapokea nadiri kutoka kwa makandidati hao wetu. Kisha itafuatia itafuatiliwa na kutia sahihi pale juu ya altare. Which calls me to follow Christ more closely with complete freedom. I offer myself totally to the Father to be consecrated by Him to a new life through Christ in the Holy Spirit. I commit myself to live in the Holy Line family in communion with my brothers, adhering to Jesus crucified, in faithfulness to the Church and to the Pope serving our poorest brothers and sisters for the sake of the kingdom of God, thus trusting in the help of Mary, Immaculate Mother of God and Mother of the Church, and trusting in the intercession of our Holy Founder and our patron saints, to you, Reverend Father Marcelo Daniel Bosque, who take the place of the Superior General of our congregation and before all you here present, I, Brother Antero Cisneros Mios Jr., make vows of chastity, poverty, obedience, and special faithfulness to the Pope for life according to the constitutions of the little work of divine providence. May the grace of God and your brotherly communion. Help me to be faithful. Amen. I, Brother John Carl Jean Vinos Volante, make vows of chastity, poverty, obedience, and a special faithfulness to the Pope for life, according to the constitutions of the little work of divine providence. May the grace of God and your brotherly communion help me to be faithful. Amen. I, Brother Wycliffe Kvemb Mumia, make vows of chastity, poverty, obedience, and special faithfulness to the Pope for life, according to the constitutions of the little work of divine providence. May the grace of God and your brotherly communion help me to be faithful. <clears throat> Amen. I, Brother George Fernandez, make oaths of chastity, poverty, obedience, and special faithfulness to the Pope for life, according to the constitution of the little work of divine providence. May the grace of God and your brotherly communion help me to be faithful. Amen. I, Brother Togaba Ker Kutamba, make vows of chastity, poverty, obedience, and of special faithfulness to the Pope for life, according to the constitutions of the little work of divine providence. May the grace of God and your brotherly communion help me to be faithful. Amen. By the power that I have been given in the name of the Church, I receive this profession of vows that you have just made in the Institute of the Little Work of Divine Providence. May God unite your offering to Christ's Christ sacrifice, sacrifice and enable you to live it to the fullness. Kwa sasa makadidati 
watajongea mbele ya altari ili waweze kuweka sahi na wanakwaya wakituongoza kwa wimbo wengine tunaweza keti Sasa tunaweza kusimama na wao makandidati watapiga magoti kisha Fadi Marcelo ataweza kufanya ombi na kuwapa baraka ndugu hawa ili ombi ndilo litakalo wafanya makandidati hawa kuwa wanachama wa daima wa shirika letu la wanafadhili za Mungu Sons of Divine Providence kwa daima Binos Volante. I, Brother Wycliffe Nwembe Mumia. I, Brother George Fernandez. I, Brother Kutamba Kodabakie. Wishing as far as I am able to to provide for the present and future well-being of the, the congregation swear to remain faithful to our apostolate among the poor and to the spirit of poverty expressed by the constitutions by making this commitment never to agree either in the chapter or in the exercise of the work for which I am responsible to any changes allowing relaxation in this regard. Lord God, creator of the world and father of all, we praise you and give you thanks for the bond of love. You can maintain that with us and deter it by sin and by the work of your hands. In Abraham, the father of believers, you called a multitude of peoples to walk in the shadow of your faithfulness. In your servant Moses sent to the oppressed, you open up the path of hope in the land of exile and of tears. In the prophets of Israel, 
you spoke to the heart of the people in darkness, setting a light their desire for a Seba. In the fullness of time, you sent your son into the world, firstborn of the new creation, reconciled in love, calling a people of every tongue and nation to the inexhaustible source of life spring from his pierced heart. And so, by the gift of his spirit, you form the church, his mystical body, consecrating her to the same mission of carrying the gospel to the ends of the earth. Now, Father, look with favor on these sons of yours, whom you call to be with Christ forever. In the practice of the evangelical councils, pour into their hearts your Holy Spirit, that they may hold all things to be a laws, compared to a sublime knowledge of your Son. May they share intensely in his merciful love, making the cause of the poorest and most abundant their own. As heard of San Luigi Orione Apostolic Seal, in the institute he wanted to be a cynical apostle, may these brothers of ours, under, under the guidance of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through all their energies into the proclamation of the gospel. Lord, may they so abundantly on earth the hope that never fails, and grant them at the end of their life to be received into your heavenly Jerusalem in the company of a multitude of brothers and sisters to Christ our Lord. Kwa sasa kile ambacho kitafuatilia kila mmoja atapokea msalaba kutoka kwa Padre Mjumbe Mkuu na msalaba huu ni ishara ya upendo ule Kristu anawashirikisha ndugu wao wetu siku hii ya leo Receive the cross of Christ sign of resurrection and life may it remind you of constant apostolic commitment to participate in the mystery of Easter for the salvation of your brothers and sisters Receive the cross of Christ, a sign of resurrection and life. May it remind you of constant apostolic commitment to participate in the mystery of Easter for the salvation of your brothers and sisters. The cross of Christ. A sign of resurrection and life. May it remind you of constant apostolic commitment to participate in the mystery of Easter for the salvation of your brothers and sisters. Receive the cross of Christ. A sign of resurrection and life. May it remind you of the constant apostolic commitment to participate in the mystery of Easter for the salvation of your brothers and sisters. Receive the cross of Christ, a sign of resurrection and life. May it remind you of constant apostolic commitment to participate in the mystery of Easter for the salvation of your brothers and sisters. Dear beloved brothers, in the name of the church and the congregation, 
We are happy to receive you among the sons of divine providence as confreres committed with perpetual vows. From now on, and everything will be held in common among us. May this brotherly embrace be a sign of this communion of life in Jesus, in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Kwa sasa, tumepata members wa shirika la mtakatifu, Don Orione, tumepata members wengine watano, na tuwapokea na tuwasherike kwa shangwe, Ujo na Teremo. Kwa sasa, na walika, na walika watao wote waliuko hapa, waliu na nadhiri za daima, kujongea mbele na kuwapa hawa ndugu, salamu zao za hirinjema. Karibuni, the finally professed. Kwaya, tuwe na uu. Ne tunaweza kuketu.